physics part four, I'm going to look at buoyancy in its simplest terms in this first video. We're going to look at how we would describe what may happen to an object as it's moved from freshwater to saltwater, or vice versa. And then in another video, I'm going to look at some of the calculations you may have to do with regards to buoyancy in the Paddy Physics exam. The notes can be found at goprocaribbean.com slash dive dash physics dash four. So let's imagine a body of water. We're going to imagine salt water as denoted by my little whale here. Think of an object that might be positive in salt water. I'm going to use the example of a cruise ship. Now let's think of an object that would be negative in salt water, perhaps a pot of gold. Finally, let's think of some objects that will be neutral, hopefully a diver as long as they've got good buoyancy control, or maybe a submarine. And then actually I want you to think about one more object. In picture a piece of waterlogged lumber or a tree trunk. It's just floating on the surface, most of it below the surface, but a tiny bit of it showing on the surface. It's just floating, just positive. Okay, so let's think. We're in fresh water, as denoted by Hippo there. What's going to happen to these different objects as that cruise ship goes up a river into a lake? Do you see them start to sink? Well, if they're designed right, they shouldn't. They might settle a little deeper in the water, though. The gold will stay the same. This piece of lumber, we really don't know what will happen to it. If it's only just positive in the ocean, it may sink in fresh. If the submarine doesn't control its buoyancy, or if the diver doesn't adjust their buoyancy based on the fact they've moved from salt to fresh, they're both going to sink. So, let's control our submarine's buoyancy and adjust for fresh water. Let's add some air to our diver's BCD so they become neutral in fresh water. And let's try to describe what would happen to these objects when moved from fresh water to salt water. Well, if our diver doesn't control their buoyancy, they're going to end up floating to the surface. Our submarine would also move from being neutral in fresh to positive in salt unless it adjusts its buoyancy. That piece of lumber, if it was only just negative in fresh water, it's possible that it would become neutral or even positive when placed in salt water. So, what we've learnt here is that an object that is positive may or may not still be positive in fresh water. The cruise ship was positive in both types of water, but we decided our piece of waterlogged lumber may be positive in salt, but negative in fresh. The pot of gold. We imagined, using common sense, that it would be negative in both salt and fresh. There was one thing we could say for certain. These objects that were neutral, an object that was neutral in salt water, we knew it would be negative in fresh. An object that was neutral in fresh, we knew it would become positive in salt. So what we now know is that an object that is neutral we can describe what will happen to it as it moves from one type of water to another. But if we're just told an object is positive or negative, we can't be certain what will happen.